call our phone. She could, but she ain't called over here yet. Mm -mm. Um, you know, over here, Madison. You know, I'm the fag. Yes, you're the tranny. Trainee, 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 and Mo is adjacent to uh -huh. it all. To it all. <laughs> okay, so this next story really is kind of, you know, tied into your community. Okay, I'm listening. Mo, where is that um, person that was in the in the courtroom with that tuck that wasn't quite tucked? Oh, 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 okay, yeah, it's right here. It was just a picture though. Uh huh. Um, right, right. Can here. you help us understand this right here? What 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 is happening right here, girl? Some shit that the girls not that the real girls are not trained to do. The real girls ain't trained to do that. Girl, she just put on a pullover dress and said, "Okay." Girl, it, it, she looked like and that girl. Pearls. She looked like that girl up there in New York with the motherfucking goddamn stiletto pumps in the club with nails on. <laughs> that's what it's giving. <sighs> yeah, that's 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 wild. No bra or or underwear. That, that's wild. So it's just there's just no decorum. Well, None. well, listen, we're in a state right now. Let me get. I'm gonna go from this. Craig. Go ahead. We're we're in a state of a woman is a woman, and a woman can look like anything she wants to. There's we got to break free of the construct construct of mm -hmm. the way that society has put a construct on what a woman looks like, and societal. Constructions of beauty standards and a woman is all this kind of shit. And so I'm gonna leave that before I say something that's transphobic mm. in today's terms of transphobia. So I'm gonna leave that. But in my time, we wasn't doing that. Mm. And the goal was not to do that. Mm -hmm. It was to be shaped like a figure eight. <laughs> the mug was supposed to be whooped. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to serve hair and mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. You were motherfucking given the you were you were patterning yourself after the girls who you found gorgeous. After the real girls, mm -hmm. the cunts that you found gorgeous. Yes, ma'am. The cunts that you found gorgeous. You were, you were pattern, but that time, obviously, the time that we're living in right now, that time has passed. Clearly. Girl, you wanted to talk about Shanti. I want to talk about what's wrapped around the Shanti situation. Mm -hmm. Let's play it. Let's get off of these trainees oh, and let's go. <laughs> you, remember you told us not. Let's play the let's play the sound. Oh. Yeah, so let's play the um. Put the picture up. Let's play the sound. Yep. So go ahead, wrap it in while I'm um pulling that up. Yeah. So I just want to get off of the trainees right now, and let's. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to go back over here to the, uh, to the gays and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. So Sean T, for those of you who may not know, he's like an exercise. He's like a modern day Richard Simmons. Okay. <laughs> Craig, I'm not I'm not doing this with you. You don't think that's an accurate? He's like a modern day Richard Simmons. I'm not doing this with you, Craig. You know, this is the Richard Simmons. You know, this is Rich. They didn't see my face, Craig. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry. This is the Richard Simmons. <laughs> this is Richard Simmons. You don't you don't think um he's like the modern day Richard Simmons. That was a way to describe him to people who may not know who he is. This is Richard Simmons. <laughs> kind of look like uh, Ice Spice to me. Really? Richard Simmons? <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? That's true. Would you fuck the mop off that bitch no, head? I, I know. <laughs> this is Richard Simmons. Uh, okay, you can put the picture up real quick. Okay. Um, uh, so this is uh, Sean T's husband. And they're discussing having an open relationship. I um, mean, he reveals in a conversation. This is the one with Angela Yee. Conversation that he was offered eighty thousand um, dollars for some sort of an online hookup. Oh wow! Okay, so here's the um, the audio for this. Okay. 
all in the, all of y'all mix. <laughs> yep. Do you ever, um, is it monogamous or do you ever bring other people in the mix? Oh, we bring people in. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have a good ass time. <laughs> we have a good ass time. Yeah, yeah. and it was me. Like, it was, we were two yeah. years into our relationship. I'm like, look, and this is where most people, like, clutch their pearls or gas. I'm like, listen, your dick is my favorite. Like, I'm emotionally, like, I'm with you. I've never had a problem getting a boner if he just touched me or wanted to shut it down. But I'm like, your dick can't be the last dick I suck Ever. Ever. <laughs> if especially if we'll be together for like Forever. the next 50 years. I'm like, yo. And I was like, plus I need That's practice. Right. Like, you know. <laughs> and he wasn't fine with it at first because he was just, you could tell why. I'm just a traditional white guy from Seattle. So, <laughs> so you know, again, my parents are together for so long. And so you just have this thing that you're not supposed to do that because mm -hmm. it's what because you've been taught wrong. or society, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there's questions of, well, am I enough? Or, you know, mm -hmm. you know, what do we, let's talk Fair about enough. it. And, all in the, all in the and so um, we did. I remember him talking about it for the first time. We were at my parents' house in Phoenix and it was like, okay, you know, but he made some also some really good points. Like you're walking down the street in the city. You see someone that's attractive. Like you, you, you see the people all the time and it's okay. And you're hot. Right. So it's like, like, it's okay to acknowledge it. And it's okay to talk to me about it because let's talk about it. Let's explore that. And then, mm -hmm. you know, move in that direction if we want to. So, so what's the rule? Yeah, yeah, how does it work? Like? Because is it questions. only if it's you guys as, as a couple doing no, something, can you do things. stuff? That is too much going on. But can you do stuff without each other? Yeah. Like how did, yeah. okay. Yeah. I so mean, it's like an open relationship. It, again, really. it's, it's, you know, we said we have no secrets. No it's secrets. like, you just have to tell me what you're doing. Okay. I always you know. have to get the address just in case. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, you know, and, and there's something very erotic about him coming home and telling me what happened or, you know, because you know, then it gets us excited that we do it again. Usually like, when we like, do it, like we come home. And so. Yeah, Usually like, when we like, do it, like we come home and like, you know, if the person lets us film, like, you know, <laughs> I'm, yeah, you, you, like, you can tell the yeah. person a blowjob when they're watching this. Is so there ever, does it ever go from you got to watch this and you got to try this? We pretty much have done everything. No, we've done it all. Okay. I, know yeah. 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 I mean, that's like, what haven't do. we done? Yeah. Yeah. Is this part of the platinum perks? <laughs> what do you. Of no one gets an in-person service. I mean, <laughs> no, I don't know. It ain't going to we have, We've have had one guy offer us $80,000 to just eat our asses. Wow. He's going to eat your asses? Yeah. That doesn't sound like a bad deal. Groceries. It's not a bad deal. That is the most expensive thing in groceries ever. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> 80000 to eat my ass? That cake? Like, like Meg the said, I'll do anything to get to the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't got to do nothing else? And the cash up No, front? Uh, yeah, but yeah. Listen, <laughs> it, did, it never went through. Yeah. However, I was definitely considering it. Here's the All right, take the picture down. All right, for me, Craig is going to dissect <laughs> it the way he's going to dissect it. But for me, this story transcends what they, what they, their relationship because everybody's relationship is whatever their relationship is. I'm not judging anyone's relationship because that's, those are the boundaries and the stipulations they had. Now there were points that were made at the top of the conversation where he said that they, the two years in, mm -hmm. they, he was already ready to bitch. I'm ready to eat. That's usually about the lifespan that the gays can. Two year, two years in they, he was, bitch, I got to suck me another day. I need another day. So that meant a year before that. <laughs> he was already thinking it. And then the year that they started going together, he was already doing it, but didn't stop. But that's not my business. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> Here's the question that I have for, for me. I say this shit all the time. You what? I say this shit all the time. <laughs> what? I say this shit all the time. <laughs> okay. A lot of you bitches out there eating pussy. That ain't never been a lesbian before in your life. But because your man can't stop fucking and sucking. Watch on, this. Uh, can't stop fucking and sucking. You thinking that you're going to get over here and appease him. And all you're doing is spiraling yourself all the way on down into a situation. And now you are, you a are dyke by, by, by default. By default. You a motherfucking bull duck. <laughs> ain't, never, ain't never wanted to eat no pussy before. But because he said, I want you to try this, you tried it. Get my children out of here. Now, now, now you are a bulldogger. 
I tell you what, you tell that nigga that you want you want to you want to have him and three niggas in the bed with him and fucking him and his ass and see what he conform to you. Try that out. I'm with you when you're right, bitch. Try that out. I'm with you when you're right, bitch. Try that out. The next time you bitches get in a relationship with a nigga like that, tell him that you want to go blow for blow, toe for toe. Because see, what's not gonna happen is doing all of that is not gonna keep the relationship. It's not. Because the, the moment that you ain't there, and here's the thing. What's the thing? I, I listened to that conversation in depth. In what? In depth. Uh-huh. I-N-D-E-P-T-A. Uh-huh. In depth. Yes. And the partners are not always present when this stuff is going on. Actually, they were really saying majority of the time. I'll be back. They're I'll not, be back. They're not present. I got a piece. Oh, really? Oh, Lord. I Craig, I think that's where Craig. Oh, Are you want to see? Well, hurry up and hang out with the thing over. I think we need. I think we need more than thirty seconds. I need thirty. We got that second. I think we need more than thirty seconds. <laughs> And you do know that fags mean popular hot ass gossip. That's right. Yeah. It's a homonym. It's right. Popular hot ass gossip. And we're two popular hot ass gossipers. gossipers. <laughs> Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and, uh, and on those D.L. Hughley shows that reach me, you fucking right, I'm going to respond. Hold on. I got to make sure I get the right sign crazy for you because I'm going to have girl fuck them sign. I'm going to have you repeat that. <laughs> if that was written, nobody can write shit for motherfucking me, ho. They might can write, they may write on that Instacart app that you go in there and pick up those eggs, those apples, and those grapes, bitch, and you drop it off to their motherfucking door. They may write that on the app so that you can do that. Hey, y'all, this is T.S. Madison. We need you to come out and join us for some good old hot, nasty fun for the Maddie in the Morning Show live at the City Wine Bag. And baby, listen, it is going to be lit. <laughs> Yeah. And oh honey, ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you gotta do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. Honey, we got three shows left. Three. We got three shows left, bitch. Get your tickets. Get your tickets, bitch. That June 19th show, that June T show gonna be real black. It's gonna be That June 19th show gonna be real black. African black. That's right. It's gonna be Lagos black. <laughs> and, and, and look, before we finish dissecting this story, bitch, we taking fag talk on the road next year, bitch. Oh, not, yeah. Not, we take it on the road this year, yeah. but we're going abroad, yes, bitch. Yes, honey. We gonna, listen, we're gonna be in the Dominican Republic. So the listen, Dominican. When I drop those tickets, you better get your ticket. Yep. Hold on to your tax hold returns, on to, bitch. Hold on to your tax return because we going, we going back to the Dominican Republic. Right. Right. Now look, I know y'all already spent your tax returns for this year. I'm talking about hold the ones for next year. That's right. Because <laughs> we going back yes, yeah, yeah. to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> what we doing, girl? We going back to the Dominican Republic. Yes, bitch. We're going to vacation. Oh, yes. With the girl. With yes. the fag. Yes, the fags. Bitch, we going to have a fagatronic time. You hear me? Uh, yes, indeed. The tickets are going to be available through fagtalk.com once the time comes. So yeah, that's where so they're going to be. Yeah, just chill. You know, we, we're getting it together. No, we're not doing a cruise. We're flying in. Yeah, we're flying in. We ain't doing no cruise. So get y'all <laughs> Delta tickets together. Now, you can get on American and shit if you want. Now, Spirit does go down to Dominican. <laughs> now, that's your business, Al. If that's what you <laughs> That's your business. 
They'll say they'll fly you down there for about thirty seven. They say where Dominican the uh pool to Connor. They'll fly you down there for about thirty seven dollars. Honey, we going where it all started. That's right. When it was the Queen's Court, bitch. that's right. Queen but we, Supreme Court. Queen Supreme Court. We going where it all started. We going back because bitch, we had a time down we there. We sure did in that Dominican Republic. Yes, God, bitch, we had a time in that Dominican Honey, Republic. We had them swim up to the to the room, yes, bitch. Now. We had a time. <laughs> Okay, now we got to get back to this, Sean. Yes. T. Now my thing is this, and I'm really trying to be a bit more open minded when it comes to different types of relationships because everybody doesn't want a monogamous relationship. I do, but not everybody wants that. Okay. Now my thing is this: besides the obvious, like why get married if you're going to do all of that? Like you, you can still be in a relationship, but why? I mean, I guess, and guess, unless it's just because of the legal stuff and you can, you know, connect businesses and, and property because marriage is a bit business, but I don't understand what's the point of it. And here's the thing. I believe some of us are wired to be monogamous and some are not. Sean T obviously is not wired to be monogamous because he said in that video, excuse me, that it was his idea two years in. Now, I don't understand why his husband felt like he, excuse me, he needed to go along with that. But I know that there are a lot of people who do that because they feel like if I don't do this, he'll, then find, he'll find somebody else to do it. Yeah. So then you acquiesce. Damn, I'm supposed to say it. We'll find another place for me to do yes. it. <laughs> and then you just go along and you just, you know, it's like, I don't know. I just, I, uh. and then, and, and they kill me talking about what well, we have rules. You know, in their case, they said that um, thank you, Mother of Champs. I'm sorry, Mother of Champs sent me $25. She, uh, she said, Out here, barbecue and sending love at Trio Pretty One. Thank you, babe. <laughs> thank you. And I think that you know, there are instances where some of these couples who have open relationships they'll say, Oh, we only play together that you know of because there, there's always one who enjoys it a little bit more than the other. And then they often end up breaking the rules. And then you over here sucking dick and fucking while I'm over at the, at the job working. working. <laughs> or then they say, oh, no, we can play separately, but we do still have rules. Baby, ain't nobody abiding Baby, by ain't, them ain't, rules. Ain't no rules when you got your, when, you, when the door wide open. Right. There are no rules. Ain't no rules. Yeah, there are no rules. Ain't no rules. Who said you said you are a racist and <laughs> suck, my, suck my big black cock, bitch. Race, race your ass down here between my legs and lick these nuts, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, race your motherfucking ass down here and lick these black nuts, puss ass punk bitch. <laughs> I know you ran your motherfucking ass over there from that white girl's page, bitch, but play with your cock and not mine. <laughs> but you know, I just well, so my thing is, Craig. I say this shit all the all the time, like all mm -hmm. the time. I just be like, well, just be single. Or, or and y'all just spend your time together. Or and do find the thing. someone that's just into all the freaking Who's shit. Into all of that. Because that husband wasn't into that shit before. He was not. You could tell. You could tell just by the way he was talking. Right. But most likely he wants to he wants to make him happy. So he's like, but but I, but that. you know, but here's the question that I want to beg. I think the larger issue when it comes to queer relationships, I don't know what the straights are doing. Okay. I know y'all be doing some shit too. So for all of the gays that want to type in the comments and on Twitter and say, well, it ain't just the gays. Okay. We talking about the gays right now though. <laughs> Why does it seem like sex is always so forefront for us? Like we are God's most gifted and most talented people walking the face of the planet. So when it comes to um, sex work, and I don't even mean in the instance of like trans women, because I understand that a lot of times trans women who are not who are not passable, and I'm not even being funny when I say that. Because there are girls that are not. And they can't go and work at a bank, or they can't go work somewhere because you can tell that they are they were not born female, right? And, and here's the thing. And so they resort to sex work. Correct. But, and, and let's clear something up, too. So why, why we in there? Why yeah. we in the room? Just because you... Uh, <laughs> what? Just because you ugly don't mean that you're not passable either. No, 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 and that's not what I'm saying at I, all. I, uh, you know, and just because you pretty don't mean you passable. Correct. Because I don't seen some motherfucking goddamn some porch monkeys, bitch. That I was like, that's a you a trans, right? 
So my thing is, I just wonder, like, why is, why, why, why do we feel like it just feels like the conversation is always going back to like sex when it comes to our relationships, and it always, and when it comes to the inability to be monogamous or faithful or loyal or whatever, it's always well because I want to be able to have sex with somebody else. Like, at what point is it enough that you've had enough sex? Like, at some point, it's it's, it's we're now talking about a lack of discipline. I don't even know if we're still talking about monogamy or not. Come on, Miss Mo. You don't have to ask. You're a part of this. So you're a fag, too. You're a fag, too. 